Hello, uh, my name is Amaya San Sebastian. Uh, I live in San Sebastian in the Basque Country in the north of Spain. And uh, I want to introduce uh, our short movie Nakam Diamond. This short was was made uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago, with a group of people uh, that uh, have uh, accompanied my, me in uh, many, many shorts we have made. Uh, Nakam Diamond is a short movie that uh, imitates TV shops from the 90s. I don't know if uh, many of you have known them, because maybe you're too young. <laughs> Uh, in the TV shops uh, you could find all kinds of bizarre objects and uh, uh, strange um, uh, appliances for a, for a short uh, amount of money. And uh, in this uh, special TV shop that we introduced today, um, what we are selling is uh, a pair of earrings, um, earrings made of uh, diamonds. The particularity of these earrings are that the diamonds they are made with uh, have been manufactured from the, the remains of some uh, cremation, right? Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the process, but the diamonds are mainly carbon. Uh, when the carbon suffers uh, different uh, conditions of temperature and pressure, they become diamonds with a lot, a lot of time. But uh, you can you can accelerate these processes uh, in in a laboratory. Uh, it costs a lot of money, uh, more than the one you would need uh, <laughs> to buy this kind of this size of diamonds in in a shop. But uh, you can use uh, any carbon you 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 want to to do, to make this diamond. So use the remains of the cremation of your dog or the cremation of your grandfather to to make a necklace, make a diamond to keep it uh, with you forever. So based on this idea, uh, well, uh, I invite you to see the movie and uh, see uh, how we make this diamond. So what is the original material of? of the diamonds we, we manufacture. And this movie was, uh, was made out of uh, volunteer wo work and uh, very little money to pay expenses for everyone. Uh, we belong, uh, the, the team we, we made this movie, we belong to, to um, a school. Uh, there, is a, there is a place in, in our main in our city, San Sebastian, uh, which uh, have different courses uh, related with cinema. So we met there after the courses, so we continued uh, writing and uh, making uh, short stories and short movies um, because we enjoy it so much. Uh, there is nothing like a, like a movie set. It's uh, so fun and it's so energetic and uh, so creative and all I can do is uh, thank these people uh, you can see in the in the credits it's a very very short uh, team uh, even the the actresses they are they're professional actresses but they gave their time for the idea uh, away uh, for free so this is uh, something that happens quite often in the in the place I live and it is uh, something to be thankful for. Starting in 2017, the team uh, that made this movie have made uh, we have made uh, several other short movies uh, that uh, have been played in different countries and different festivals. And uh, actually we have uh, another two, three, <laughs> if we have time, to finish this 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 year, another two or three movies. So I propose uh, that you see the movie and uh, see if you agree with the proposal. It's basically a proposal um, which would would be illegal. Uh, I don't know in not in all countries, but in the countries I know, I pro I. I suppose it will be illegal to, to, to do what we propose in the movie, but maybe, uh, well, if maybe some people agree with the proposal, we could propose it to, to change, change the laws and change what makes it illegal. Because uh, sometimes uh, when we find some cases of, of uh, gender violence and violations and rapings and Sometimes we think uh, police work and education and it comes late and not enough and 
It's uh, too little, so more drastic measures are to be taken and this is the proposal we, we bring today. Regarding some anecdotes from the, from the making of the movie, uh, it was impossible to, to, some, to make some, some shots sometimes because the, the, the people were laughing all the time. So it's a comedy, but it, w it, w it was a comedy to make the movie itself because uh, the actresses uh, had to, to imitate these this, uh, TV shop hosts, which are uh, very uh, imp imposed uh, poses and uh, fake smiles and you know to the, the these programs were were um, recorded so badly and not, not ed and edited so badly and the, the with missing shots and, and jumps and, and so on so we tried to imitate those as well the sometimes the actresses could, could they try to make some fake smiles like this and then they start laughing and laughing and we had to cut and start again but it was fun all the way so it was hard to do the movie, but not, not because of the hardness of the movie, but because we couldn't stop laughing most of the time. So it, uh, I think it, it, it reflects on the, on the shot. Uh, you can see it sometimes. And it, it, if you see the, the last second of the shot, of the, of the short, uh, it's people laughing out loud. So, and then it cut. Thank you uh, to, to the Code Metrans uh, Festival for having my film and uh, I hope uh, I can travel there, I don't know yet. I uh, hope to, to see it and, and see the other works of the other directors and uh, see you around. Goodbye.